Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to get the clipboard text, which is like basically the copied data programmatically in your Android app. So let's begin. We'll create a new project. Name this as clipboard text app. You can name it anything. Click finish and wait for the environment to load. It may take a while. Once the environment loads, I'll do one thing. I'll start my emulator also in panel on the right hand side. I don't need this uh, window for the window because code is pretty simple and straightforward. I'll define a public method and I'll name it as probably text view on click. No, I'm not sure why the cursor is moving on the right hand side. So let me just minimize all these things. Yeah. View, view, perfect. Okay, I think I used to do public white, so I just uh, missed to give the return type here. Perfect. Now I'll be using this method to do my own functionality, but uh, I'll go to my layout, and in the layout, what I'll quickly do it is okay, so by default, I already have text view, so I'll keep it as it is because this is the place where I'll display my output or whatever the text is in the clipboard, I'll display it in this text view. Probably I can make the alignment in center. Yeah, it's just a cosmetic, you don't need to do this. And yeah, of course, I can set the on click attribute also over here, which is basically that method whatever we have defined the Java code. So whenever we click in this uh, text view, that uh, method will be called and the and we'll write the functionality where the data will be copied here. What else we will need is we will need a plain text probably. So why we need a plain text because we uh, to just experiment uh, the different uh, text and by default it gives name but I think I will change it to probably the programmer world which is my channel name. But yeah we will play with different words here in this as a, when we are doing the experiment okay uh, or testing yeah and in this uh, Java code code is pretty simple so first and foremost what we will have to do is we have to find a clipboard manager okay so clipboard manager and get system service and in this system service you get a clipboard service clipboard service at this one perfect just, it may ask you to type that so just do that and in clipboard service then next we will we'll create something called clip data clip data and this will create from clipboard uh, manager whatever we had defined above and get, get primary clip perfect and I think that's all and then we can use uh, of course we have to first create text view as well where we will print the output from the clip data so this will be find you by id r dot id dot text view so and this text view id is basically I have given over here in the id of the text view okay now when my text view is set so what I will do is set text clip data and then I can get the item item add so this is, is gives index so it starts from zero which is the latest uh, item which is in this copied uh, which is copied here and then uh, goes to text which is basically hard conversion to text form in this context and then we can convert it into two string I think that's all we can rerun the app and see how it comes up so right now yeah let it load okay so right now if i click here it shows my previous data what was copied so which was basically just a statement uh, from the text uh, window i will try with some different uh, 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 yeah uh, text so say for example i copied programmer and when i click here which is basically when i click this particular method calls up it prints programmer so if this time i'll probably copy world only and click here world or probably i can do one thing right i'll just select more copy program but probably i can do something different god is great something like a very standard sentence and i will just copy what till is and copy click here is great perfect so that's all i wanted to show you how easy it is you can use this clipboard manager and then from clipboard manager get a clip data 
and then you can get the items so uh, right now we are fetching only the zeros item but you can also fetch past two or three items and do it accordingly so that's all i hope this video is useful to you i think i'll change this back to programmer world So I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put it in the comment section below. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.